Hello and welcome to this episode of Beam NG Drive. This time we are in uh, the ski jumping map, so we're going to do some more ski jumping, but what I want to do here is I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to do some neutral gear ski jumping. So essentially I'm going to get up, get the vehicle rolling, get into neutral, and just let it ride. Now, I will steer right and left just to attempt to keep it centered, um, but I think we're just gonna attempt several different vehicles without using any gas at all. We're just <laughs> gonna let them fly and see what happens. I'm not even gonna touch anything after they leave. Uh-oh, uh ooh, barely cleared the back end there. Hey, that was actually not bad. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh. Actually, that's... Oh, well, this will... Wow. Yeah, that did that on its own. That was actually not bad. That's not too shabby. Well, I'm thinking the seat could be a bit of a problem. Let me see here. Yeah... Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure we would have... Uh, let's try this. Oh, yeah, there's the dash cam. <laughs> that's that's a little worse for wear than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, huh. Okay, that's... Uh, wow. So that's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. <laughs> From here, it just kind of looks like the roof's caved in a little. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of decapitated our driver at least giving him a serious headache all right so we are going to reset and restart give me this uh, we're a little further back than I wanted to be I thought I'd set the reset point for up there but anyway so let's see what else we have um I think I'm just gonna kind of go through my list why not let's try the Aruga uh, ooh, we're going to do the tour, because why not? So we're going <laughs> to... Come on. <laughs> Got to move my mouse. Come on. Yeah, this car's going to barely be going even when we get out of neutral. Come on. There we go. There you go, Grandpa. All right, that'll work. All right, so here we go. And over the edge. Oh, we actually caught the back end, sort of popped up a little bit. This car's not steering too well. I'm not anticipating good things here. Oh, yeah, we kind of lost it. Oh, and that's not gonna be good. Okay, very cool tire effects. That was very cool. And into the ground. Oh! Yeah, that that's not good. Okay. Alright, so for the record so far, the best landing is the truck. Granted, we've... Oops. We've only had uh, two vehicles so far, so yeah, that's... Hey, but you know what? You take your you take your wins where you can. Uh, let's do the uh, oh, I don't know. Let's do the King Snake. Why not? All right. Holy cow! So the question is, can I make it there? Yeah, I can. We can. We can do this. <laughs> we'll, we'll slowly roll up and anticipate our death. Wait. Really? I'm going to run out of... Come on. Okay. Let's just go just a hair here. Come on. There we go. And over the edge. Let's see how we do here. In the kink snake. Alright, we are hoofing. Looks like 185 maybe. 185 at the peak. Ooh, the front end suddenly dips. Ooh, but it clears the edge. Ooh, look at there. Smoothed out. All right, well, it's okay. But 
I think we're actually okay. Now, here's probably where we'll lose it. Uh, that bump right there is always a problem. Oh, we're actually on fire. Oh, and we crashed. <laughs> uh, we survived the... Uh, which, huh, in retrospect, I should probably at least put the brakes on once I get down. Okay, so... Alright, so I'm changing the rules midstream. New rule, we're allowed to do breaks. Alright, so let's, let's, let's just, whoa. Alright, so let's just try this one. Oh, really? Are you kidding me? Alright, so let's try this one with the new rules where I can do breaks once we hit the bottom. Because, I, I just, I mean, you know. It's not fair to judge when a car actually survives and happens to go cruising into the wall. I mean, I don't think that's fair. And, well, I'm the one doing this contest, so I guess there you go. He who makes the rules makes the rules or something. All right, 185 miles an hour. Up and over. Woo, that front end. Man. Oh, the back end's not going to come down as far this time. So as soon as I cross the finish line, ugh, now we can put the brakes on. Oh, I tell you what, even with brakes, mm, that did not go well for the driver. All right, well, I would say he survived, or she, the driver survived, uh, most likely, up, uh, up kind of until the end. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know what? It caught on fire. You're, you lose. No. The truck is still better because you, know, you, you can't just you can't just have fire going on there. That's just not that, that's just not going to work. So you caught on fire. Sorry. No. You, you lose. Alright. Let's try the burn side. You know what? We're going to go down in a police car. So let's Okay, that's my one pet peeve with this game. If your mouse happens to be on your odometer, you can't drive with a keyboard. Just going to throw that out there. And I know, a bunch of you right now are probably saying, well, if you had a controller or a steering wheel, you wouldn't have that problem. You're right. But I don't, and so I do. Does that make sense? Try to keep up and watch for the changes. All right. Watch for the changes and try to keep up? I don't know. It's one of those. Anywho, we're cruising State Trooper 189, it looked like. And we are drifting to the left. I don't... Oh, my. Oh, I cannot believe we cleared that. That is crazy. Oh, tap the wall. Oh. Ah, I can't break, 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 break. Oh, what? We caught on fire? Ah, oh, that's a bummer, man, because if we had not caught on fire, that would have been the jump to beat. However, we're on fire, so, yeah. Man, I can't believe that. What? What is up with this? Everything catches fire all of a sudden. All right, fine. Caboose. Ah, oh, that is a bummer. That, that really is. I'm... I'm saddened because that police car really I know I'm on the, because the police car would have been perfect the car itself damage not a problem the driver definitely I mean probably yeah I granted when I had some compressed discs or something but man that would have been great but no no somewhere Caught fire. I'm guessing. Let's see. Did it catch fire before or after the end line down there? Because I'm thinking that that very end bump is what set it on fire. All right. Let's find out with the 57 Chevy. Ooh, 197 miles an hour. You are cooking, buddy. Oh, uh, this is not gonna be good. Wait. Oh, come, come back, come back, come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's not pretty. 
Yeah, when when the wheel is in the driver's seat, you you know you're in trouble. That's that that's the sure sign. So if you're ever driving and your wheel ends up in your lap, um, you're 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 in for a bad day. Oh my goodness, look at that! Wow, yeah, that that's not good. So I guess, well, let's see the truck. Hmm, that's interesting. So, oh my gosh, that is bad. Uh, this is the dash cam. Uh, you notice that I'm actually sitting behind the front seat. Uh, that's a that's a tough one, man. Uh, which one do we give it to there? Uh, you got the wheel in the front seat. I guess the truck is still still the king. Uh, I just, hmm. Okay. Huh. All right, let's try the Ibishu. Um, drift? No, let's do race. Why not? All right, let's see what we got here. Whoops. Well, that would be the camera and not the uh, <laughs> gas. So let's try this again. All right, here we go. I'm trying to keep it under 10 just to sort of keep it as fair as I can in terms of starting speeds. There we go. Oh, that just sounds like this is not going to be good. Checking our speed. 186. Oh! Wow! That actually... Look at that! Oh! Bummer, man. Oh, it held such a great line, but... Uh, I can't stop. No! Oh! Man, that held such a great line right up until the point that... Well, the car slammed into the ground. Let's see. Well, I'll tell you what. So far, this is the best dashboard scenario we have seen. I mean, I'm basically still in the driver's seat. I believe I'm shifted a hair to the... Uh, right but in terms of survivability well I don't know that landing man that probably would have wiped him out but uh, I'd have to say this is close this is if this is not a lead this has got to be close because I mean everything looks like the driver would still be sitting there okay granted <laughs> I'm using some poetic license here, I'm sure. So, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the Ibishu so far is the lead vehicle because, once again, I make the rules. All right, so let's go. So, let's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not so fast. Slow your roll. All right, here we go. see how this goes we got ourselves a nice line actually that's a pretty straight way is veering a little to the right but I got that cured 192 but then lost tires ooh and takes a spin and a tumble and right off the edge <laughs> nope you're done <clears throat> You lose. Wow, um, that's some funky stuff you got there going with your ste seats St sticking up through the roof. <laughs> uh, we turned it into a goat car or a rabbit or pick your favorite animal that has long pointy things at top, right? Okay. I almost feel like I should, dude. You just lost your mirror. I almost feel like I should do that one again because, well, of course I couldn't do the. I didn't do the Aruga. The Aruga just did not have the speed. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this again. Let's just see what happens. Whoa! Bad camera. Bad camera. All right, we're gonna try this again. And this time, I'm going to attempt to keep the vehicle to where it can actually land on the ramp. I have a feeling it's not gonna matter at all, but. I just, I, I want to try, uh oh, 
Why are you doing that? Don't be lagging. Oh, the lag, the lag confused me. Go into the lag. Oh, this is, this is, oh wait, okay, that worked. Come on, come on, there we go. Actually, I have a feeling it would have been, ugh. Yeah, it, 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 it kind of did better the first time. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, no. After all that tumbling, uh, the, da <laughs> the dash is a little warped. Um, I am in the driver's seat, though, you know, relatively decent. But there's just some, nah, there's just some funky stuff going on. So, all right. So we're going to still say the Ibushu, Ibu Ibishu is still the, uh, lead vehicle here all right and you may disagree and if you do that's perfectly fine throw it in the comments and say no you're an idiot well actually you could probably say that anyway um i'll tell you what let's do the convertible that was one of the very first ones that we did all right well that was stupid <laughs> uh okay hang on there we go because I don't know if running into the wall affected the... Uh, get back in neutral. Alright. Alright, so the convertible was one of the very first cars that we threw over the cliff here. So I want to see how this performs with no acceleration. Oh, there we go. You know, I might try that in first person. Can you imagine from the driver's seat? That'd be kind of cool. Alright, here we go. 191. Oh. oh, if you can just maintain. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. That's uh, It's on fire in a convertible, dragging along the ground. That's hmm. that's a dead man. It sure is. That is a dead stunt man hanging out. <laughs> that was interesting. So that the convertible definitely does not work. The ETK convertible there. Let's try the Mustang Mach One, and let's see if the Mustang Mach One can. Uh, survive all right here we go get semi squared up here and over the edge we go all right whoa it's kind of I don't think I'm lined up to the truth. 182. Okay, well that's not bad. Ooh, nice. Nice heavy back end keeping it. Oh, come on. There we go. Mm. It's hard to tell what the uh, roof did. Whoa, good heavens. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Here, put the parking brake on. Quit your rolling. Um, <laughs> the interior's a little wobbly. That's a very bizarre effect. Look at that. That's like jello, man. Oh, you know what? I, this is all right, though. I mean, I still got plenty of roof above me. I'm, I'm going to say this one. Th this is a win. The Mach 1... I believe the Mach 1 is uh, the most survivable at this point. I, I think that actually is, is pretty decent. The car itself is not in bad shape either. So, you know. Is it drivable? Which is not something we've been testing. But uh, Oh, well, the drive shaft's broken. So it doesn't actually go anywhere even though the engine's good. I, I'm still going to call that good. I'm going to call that one good. We're going to say the Mach 1 is the current leader. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm in the wrong place. 
uh, happens to me a lot. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. All right. This is the classic Ford LTD. Uh, my, uh, <laughs> I've said this in another video, but my grandparents actually had one of these. Theirs was the uh, the yellow color, and uh, I just, man, I, it's really weird the things you remember from when you were a kid. But uh, yeah, so my grandparents had one of these. I don't think they would have approved of doing something like this, but you know what? Then again. They could be a little wild and weird, so you just never know. 185. The front end is going to be a little heavy, but if we can... Oh, that's not bad. Oh, man. That was actually... Oh, well, we rolled. Uh, and I can't stop. Hmm. That actually worked all right. <laughs> it actually landed halfway decently. I mean, it landed on all fours, although you definitely see the uh, <laughs> the suspension is a little torqued. If we get in the car upside down, uh, in the driver's seat, it's actually not bad. Um, I don't know if I could call this one... I mean, it flipped over and, and made us drag around. I just don't know if, if we could call this one as a survivable. Ah, uh, nah. I just, I can't do it, man. I just can't do it. We're going to call the uh, Mach 1 the current leader. Let's see what else we got. Crown Vic. Let's see what we want to do. I'm going to skip down for a second. Um, I want to do the... Um, let's do the bolide. I don't think the pigeon... You know what? Oh, there's a new car I was going to test out. The Ibishu Electric. Let's try Let's try that just for the sake of argument. Because I have no idea what that's going to do. Alright, so this is a Pessima. Holy cow, that's fast. This is a Pessima Electric. Let's see what happens when you throw an electric car over the, <laughs> over the uh, ski jump. I'll be sure to put a link to this in the description as well. Oh, that is just... Alright, here we go. One eighty-seven. Whoa! Uh, you want to level out oh it's rolling we're barrel rolling oh no <laughs> that's not there's no that's not surviving it landed on the driver no and of course caught fire that's not good at all yeah sorry guys you died dude that's that's mushed holy cow okay no good. Electric car? No, no. Not gonna happen. Oops. Well, that's not gonna happen very well either, is it? Okay. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's do two more cars, and then uh, I'll wrap this video up. And if you guys enjoy this, then we'll do another one. I'm gonna do the boxed. What do you think? Sure. Why not? Let's attempt to do the boxed pigeon. I can tell you the biggest issue. Whoa! It's not where I thought it was. I can tell you the biggest issue with the pigeon is going to be when it hits the bottom and the tires pop. Um, that is definitely the biggest, that's going to be the biggest problem because once the tires are gone, this thing is just, I mean, it's going to flail about. It's, it's essentially useless. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not uh, anticipating much luck with the pigeon, but we're going to throw it over the edge anyway and just see if I can keep it relatively stable but I just man I'd almost I'd almost like to throw this one backwards just so the two front tires and then the two back tires hit first but, oh there it is oh well we slowed down to a whole whopping 20 miles an hour so this pigeon will not fly 
and the driver. Ugh. Well, in a weird sort of way. <laughs> huh. Oh, well, yeah, you got kind of a windshield thing going there. That's a, that's a bit of a problem. Huh. Still, they're not as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right. All right, so that was the pigeon, which I basically kind of anticipated the pigeon wasn't going to be any fun. So the last vehicle for today, we're going to take the bolide and we're going to take the knot. And I don't know what color. Uh, so you guys are all yelling, do this, do this. I'm going to do yellow. Why not? All right, here we go. So the bolide was one of the absolute best vehicles when we were doing regular ski jumping. So let's see how the bolide survives neutral ski jumping. If I'm not mistaken, um, I believe there's been uh, either an update to this map or somebody modded it where the landing strip actually has uh, meters, 190 miles an hour. Um, so you can actually measure distance. So that might be, whoa, what are you doing? That, this is not, that, oh, no, no, <laughs> you, you, you can't do that. Wow. Oh, well, that also goes to show you uh, that when I have control, I can actually do something decent. I don't know why I'm putting the brakes on. There's no point in that. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, landed on the roof. We're pretty well flat. No, you're, you're dead. Man, well, that didn't work anywhere near as well as I thought it was going to. Huh. All right, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to wrap things up here. This is, uh, I think I'm going to do a, a series of this. Um, again, let me know if you guys like this uh, or not. I just, I don't know, I think it's a cool concept. Um, so this is uh, ski jumping in neutral. <laughs> uh, let me know if you like it. Hit that like button if you would. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, problem, suggestion, horror story down in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I definitely uh, appreciate it. Um, it means a lot that you guys uh, tune in and check out what I'm doing and watch all the craziness and silliness. And, uh, I, I hope uh, you, you either laugh along with me or laugh at me either way. If you're laughing, we're good to go. So anywho, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.